And then on the um, issue of um, uh, lockdown, so-called lockdown, maybe, um, uh, you know, some countries have already taken measures for physical distancing, closing schools and preventing gatherings and so on. That can buy, buy time. But at the same time, uh, each and every country actually differs. Some countries have a strong social welfare system, and some countries don't. And I'm from Africa, as, as you know. And I know many people actually have to work every single day to win their daily bread. And governments should take this population into account, okay? If we're closing or if we're limiting movements, what is it going to happen to those people who have to work on daily basis and have to earn their bread on daily basis? So each and every country based on its situation should answer this question. We're not seeing it as an economic impact on a country, as an average of uh, GDP loss or, uh, you know, the economic uh, repercussions. We have to also see what it means to the individual in, in the street. And maybe I have seen it, said it many times, and um, uh, I come from a poor family, and I know what it means to always, uh, you know, worry about your daily bread. And that has to be taken into account. Because each and every individual matters and how each and every individual is affected by our, our, our actions has to be considered. And that's what we're, we're saying.